stick multiplication will of course work with decimal numbers as well and in this video I'll show you how stick multiplication is also called Japanese multiplication probably because Japanese language and culture is a decimal based culture in its natural state the number words in Japanese go up to uh, 10 and for 11 they don't have a word for 11 they say 10 1 and for 12 they don't have a word like 12 they say 10 2 so it's just a decimal uh, thinking and mindset that's gonna be applied very strictly here and uh, it's a uh, fairly straightforward this can be done just like whole numbers with sticks with a little bit of change because because sticks are whole numbers you don't have one tenth of a stick you don't have a hundredth of a stick okay so you're gonna have to keep some stuff in mind about the sticks what they represent so let's start with something simple how about just just one by one first okay again I don't want to insult your intelligence just uh, bear with me I'll show you how this one works when you cross two sticks together as is they represent itself themselves one and one and in stick multiplication to arrive to a, to a final answer you're gonna have to count the intersections that the sticks make and just as with whole numbers it works with decimals but like I said there is no one tenth of a stick so one of the sticks will need to mean that it stands in the tenth place value and when one a whole number is multiplied with a tenth the result will also be a tenth very much like in any other layout for multiplication you're gonna have to count the decimal place value digits in the original problem and the final answer will have the same number of decimal uh, places as the numbers you start with combined okay I'll show you with another one how about how about 0 0.3 times 1.2 now you don't have 0 0.3 sticks or what you can do is three sticks and it doesn't matter which way you lay down the sticks and which directions they run as long as you keep their decimal or place value in mind and that's absolutely critical so there's three sticks that way and all of these w will be in the tenth place value 1.2 sticks will be represented as 1.2 I don't have 0.2 sticks I can only do this so but this one is in the ones place value and these two sticks are in the tenth place value and when we calculate the answer this has to be kept in mind we have three intersections here one two three so you write down the number three somewhere there for final answer there so you can see what we're doing here and you also notice here one two three four five six more intersection points and you put that one there <coughs> when ones and tenths intersect one by tenth is a tenth so the that's a zero there just ugly so the, the three has to be in the tenth place value in the final answer when tenth sticks and tenth sticks crisscross these six must be in the hundredth place value because one tenth by one tenth is a hundredth consequently the final answer will have the decimal dot here because that's how the digit 3 is in the tenth column and the digit 6 is in the hundredth column much the same way you count up the decimal digits in the original problem one decimal two decimal and the final answer will also have two decimal digits start here and just move the decimal dot two places to the left or just keep in mind when the numbers get written down in which column they get written down into here is one that needs 
Uh, I'm gonna try to fit it here. Now it has uh, carryover amounts. How about, I don't know, 3.41 times 1.42. Let's try that one. It's not too many sticks, it's doable. Okay, for 1.42, instead of doing it horizontally and vertically, I'm gonna skew it a little bit so the final answer will uh, look a little different. And, and it's gonna have its ones, tenths, hundreds, thousands, and the rest neatly lining up. Okay, and for that I'm gonna do, here's the one for the 1.4, and here's the two, three, four, and then two more somewhere over there. So here's the 1.42, and these are the ones, these are the tenths, and these are the hundredth digit sticks, and it's multiplied by 3.41, and the three, I want to put it down here. These are the ones digits, three. And the four goes here. These are the tenth digits. And then the one goes there. Just making sure everything is there. The hundredth place value. Okay. So here is my 3.41. Okay. What I need to do is, uh, it, it, you can start from left to right or right to left, it, it doesn't matter because it's going to need regrouping anyhow. Let's start here with this cluster where ones and ones get crisscrossed and I have three intersecting points there. So one by one is, sorry not one by one, uh, that's three there. And for place value wise, one by one is one and I know that this is going to be in the ones column and I might as well just put the decimal dot there because it's going to stay there. The next cluster here is this one here where tenths crisscross with ones so their place value is a tenth but here you also have tenth crisscrossing with a one and the place value of these are also a tenth so I'm gonna just make a potato here Oops, that one is overrun a little bit, but I'm just gonna have to keep in mind that that one is off bounds. So, one, two, three there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve there, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of these get written down in the tenth column. Now, I know you can only write nine as the highest number in any column, but that's why regrouping is gonna come in. The next column will be the 100th there, crisscrossing with the ones, and I know that their place value will be a hundredth. Tenth, crisscrossing with tenths, and their place value will be a hundredth. And one hundredth, crisscrossing with one, and its place value will be a hundredth. So that cluster there with those guys there and that one fella there. Uh, all of these will be in the hundredth place value column. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three of these guys. Just write it down in the hundredth column for now. The next one is this cluster here. Hundredth are crisscrossing tenths, so hundreds and tens make thousands. So that's your next place value column for thousands. And those ones, I'm just checking, tens are crisscrossing thousands. So those guys need to be counted up with those dudes for the next place value column here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of these. And lastly, those ones there, those two guys, are in the 10,000th column. And we just leave them there. This is the column for 10,000th. Let me see, one more zero. Okay. Out of this, we need to make a normal number that looks like uh, correct with its place values. So two stays there, as is. 
out of these 12, the one has to be carried over into the next place value column. So just write down that 2 that stays there. And that 1 gets added to 23. That makes 24. I can write down plus 1 because that's the one that gets added, 24. And instead of 24, I just write down the 4 because the 2 carries over to that column there where it gets added to the 16 that's already there so that's gonna be 18 but I'm not writing down the 1 because that 1 needs to be added to the 1's column so my final answer is 4.8422 for multiplying 3.41 with 1.42 let's see if it works on a calculator 3.41 times 1.42 equals 4.8422 and I have 4.8422 I guess we're doing fine here lastly as a shortcut you can just count the number of decimal places in the problem there and there that's two decimal places there and two there so when you have all the decimal digits you start at the end one two three four you put the decimal dot there because that's a that's a shortcut for placing the decimal dots so that's how you do decimal numbers when it comes to stick multiplication practice it this is fun